Hello everybody, Sergeant Soul Jr. back with How to Rust, and today we are looking at a water base. It's the one base that a lot of people have said they really want to see from me, and I don't know why, because water bases, in my opinion, aren't all that great anymore. But I've designed a base here, and I have Kip Dynamite and Papa Pete from the Cartel Clan, and they're going to try to raid it. So I've given them 30 rockets, a couple launchers, a little bit of C4, some tools, and etc, etc, etc. And what they're going to do is they're going to leave this little 2x2 two two I've built. They're going to head out, they're going to make their little raid base, and they're going to see how far they can get into this monstrosity in the water. Are you guys ready? Yep, ready. Alright, go ahead and put the code into the door, and begin. Now, of course, as soon as you guys leave that door, I am not responsible for your safety. So, should you die, and you might... Oops. We won't. Oh, just, in, just in case, I'm going to go invisible so nobody uh, sees me flying and comes over here. Alright, so go ahead and tell us exactly what you're doing right here. Try like to keep you're... my toes from getting cold. Alright, yeah, looks like you're, you're building the walkway to get out deeper into the water. Now, the one strategic thing about water bases is you have to go into the water, no matter what. At some point, if you're going for loot, you have to get into the water... To get the loot into the base so the way that this was designed we're gonna see how well they can uh, they can penetrate it and maybe even see if they can get to the loot room so what are the thoughts that you're uh you're, you have right now are you just I building straight to bases. it or are you towering up what are your plans? I don't have a plan. I'm just gonna drown. Just gonna drown. Okay, well that, that works in our favor, right guys? That's that's why you live in a water base, so that your raiders drown. I think there's a rock here we can actually build off. Alright. We got Papa Pete in the Christmas hat, scoping out the back side of the base here. Now while they're doing that, I'm going to kind of fly around and show you guys what I've built. It's a medium sized water base, nothing too big, but it's something that I feel is pretty easily done on a vanilla server if you have a handful of guys working with you. Um, on a modded server like this one, you could have this up within a few hours. So uh, the original idea here was to try to make it so that it would work with both server types, but of this size, it might be a little bit more difficult for vanilla. Now, also, with the recent changes to sheet metal, you could do this whole base in sheet metal. I didn't. I decided to do sheet metal on the bottom and stone on the top, just for the look of it. I thought it looked nice, but they're pretty much interchangeable. The only nice thing about sheet metal is that it's harder to hit with tools, but if you have a water base, they're not going to be able to hit it with tools. Can't swing a tool in the water. So, hopefully that's going to work in our advantage. That's why I put it at the bottom. Okay, so you're rocketing the bottom layer, the bottom stone layer, or the metal layer? I'm rocketing the edge of the water where I could just swim right in. Okay, that's pretty smart. So he's trying to take out the metal right now. Alright. And as an expert raider, he took all four walls down because he aimed at the center of all four walls. And the, God, one thing that build, the one thing that makes this base so nice and so big is the honeycombing. Now, another thing about this style of base, you can no longer jump out of water. So, by having the ceiling a half block height above the water, there's nothing that you could do about it. Alright, so they're going in deeper. I'm trying to follow along with them. They can't see me, so... We'll be able to get right up behind them. I mean, next to them. I'm not. I'm not behind you. All right. Let's see here. So, Papa Pete and Kip Dynamite, what are your thoughts here? Uh, so far it's um rather aids. A little bit. Walls. A little so bit. We're going through the soft part of the wall at the moment. Or what? Okay. Have you tried to pick the soft part of the wall? Oh, uh, we can't. Because we're no longer allowed to jump in the water now. I just That's try right. it there, and you sink under now when you try it. My god. 
What is this monstrosity? <laughs> this is the water base that I have designed. Please tell me uh, what you have left for rockets and C4. Uh, eight rockets. What I've got to? 17 rockets. Okay, so we, we still got a good supply. Unfortunately, though, I don't know if you're going to be able to shoot the rockets. Oh, oh I'm wait to find out. Oh, look at that. Now, in a normal situation, uh, a, a defender would have removed his ladders. I didn't, just to give these guys a little bit easier of a time. Um, also, don't have code locks on there, so just pretend there's a code lock on it. We'll just do that. My teddy bear. Why would you do that? That was my pookie. Did you guys know that when you put Pookie next oh. to a campfire, it gives you 100% uh, comfort? Comfort? Yeah. yeah. I kept pissed off. So, now the ladder's gone. We're losing one of our raiders. And Actually, in this particular build, back. we have three uh, doors to choose from. I think I could shoot, yeah. Here, don't uh, fire. I'll jump on your head. Yeah, jump on my head, yeah. <laughs> Jump up. No, you're no just stand slid. still. Just stand still. I got it. Hit these we corners. die, we die. We die, we die. I run from the front of my face. Alright. As you guys have probably seen, I left my HUD on so you can see this whole base has building privilege. And once they're done raiding, I will show you how I achieved that so that the entire base have privilege even under the water. Which, did you guys notice there was privilege under the water? Yep. Uh-huh. Outside Sergeant's... where I built the stairs, you should go check that out, though. Because there's not under the water, but once you go on the stairs, there is. In certain spots, yes. Certain spots. Oh, All right, so things. you blew... you blew up. And you unlocked the loot room. Look at that. Now, how many uh, rockets do you have left? Still got eight on me. I have Eight? 13. 13. Okay, so it wasn't quite as sturdy as I thought it would be, but you guys got pretty lucky looking for the uh, the way Yeah, up. we got we got real lucky. Now, have, had I had removed that ladder, what would you have done? I removed it. Well, no, the uh, ladder oh, leading the ladder out of the water. Up. I probably would have left and rage quit. This one right here, you would have you would have uh, rage quit because you couldn't jump up this anymore. Uh, yeah, I definitely uh... would have rage quit. Now, the only way to make it work would be to C4 it, but, you know, at that point, you'd be C4ing into a honeycomb. Yeah. So, I probably screwed myself by not removing the ladders, but that's okay, because th these guys did a good job with the raid. So, let's go ahead, and we're going to poke around, and I'm going to show you some of the secrets of this base. First off, let me find it. We have our tool cupboards, which... Oh, right here. I'm using the three tool cupboards... Two on the stairs, one not. So you have one here that's putting the the build protection down this direction, along the back side there. And then you have an identical one on the front side, putting the build protection down the other way. And then we also have one here in the center that goes horizontally. Now this sits right above, a half block above the water level. So this pretty much allows you to prevent them from building right next to the base. See, we're all the way here. We come down to about two levels below and that's when we start getting our protection loss so i think by using that method it makes the water bases a lot more viable because you actually have protection whereas you know with the recent changes to tool cupboards you don't get protection in the water anymore because you can't place a tool cupboard under the water so you guys have any final words for either this base water bases this raid whatever you want to comment on you guys are, are really experienced raiders, so your opinions uh, are pretty important. Yeah, don't build water bases, because they'll just make people rage quit. And if you want to high pop server to stay high pop, don't build them. From a defender's aspect, though, well, are, in, in your good. opinion, good. in your opinion, water bases are pretty good. Yeah. Okay, well. We're going to build it, make it sheet metal, so it takes longer. Well, sheet metal and stone are just about the same. Yeah. So, I mean, th that can go either way. If if you have the upper levels and they access the upper levels, I would definitely make that sheet metal so they can't pick it. Yeah. But otherwise, like, you know, it's pretty much just up to you as to what you want to do. Um, any final words then? You guys have uh, pretty much conquered my base here. 
Uh, no, no fan of words. Kippy? No, it's a, it's a really good base. If that ladder wasn't there, then the raid would be over. Yeah, that was my bad. <laughs> All right, well, guys, I hope you guys learned a few things about this particular style of base. Um, I have a video where it shows how to do the three tool cupboards in the one by three area. Go ahead and check that out. Put that directly in the center of your water base. It will give you the protection you need so they can't ladder or wall up or stair up or whatever to get to the top. And, uh, yeah, so thank you guys for raiding this base and conquering my build. And we'll see you in the next How to Rust video. See ya. Yep. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching How to Rust, a series for new players to the game of Rust. If you have any ideas for future episodes that could be useful to new players, please feel free to leave a comment in the comments section of this video.